You're listening to the Coconut Avenue Radio and Podcast Network. Welcome to Out There on the Edge of Everything, the show that examines, helps you understand, and effectively deal with the interesting edges of life. Broadcasting now from the virtual C344 studios overlooking the edge of Coconut Avenue is your host, award-winning and best-selling author, Dr. Stephen Lesovich. Hi, this is Dr. Stephen Lesovich out there on the edge of everything. This episode is entitled Interview with Harmony Pevet from the Harmonic Egg of Naperville. For listeners who don't know where Naperville is, Naperville, Illinois is a western suburb of the city of Chicago. I know the city of Naperville well. I owned a home there when I was a software engineer working at AT AT&T Bell Labs, which had a facility in Naperville. Today I'm very excited to be speaking with Harmony Pavet of the Harmonic Egg in Naperville, Illinois. Welcome to the show, Harmony. Thank you for having me. You had a very high-profile life in Los Angeles. Tell us a little bit about your life in Los Angeles. Well, it was an interesting one. I spent 15 years as a high-profile hairstylist, working on many celebrities and A-listers, flying around the world. I really enjoyed that journey or that chapter of my life. Everything changed at a certain point. It really changed in a big way for you. While living in Los Angeles, you had your first near-death experience. Could you tell us about that? Sure. At the age of 30, at the height of my career, I contracted a MRSA staph infection, and it was lodged into my throat, of all places. And the doctors admitted me into the hospital, and nothing was working. I was on Dilaudid and morphine and Xanax and IV drip for about 18 hours a day. Nothing was working. And up to this point, I was an atheist. And ironically, on the sixth day, the the surgeon came in and said that he was going to have to cut my neck open to remove the infection because it it wasn't responding to the medication and it was spreading. And so that night I went into the bathroom and I took my IV in and I prayed for the first time. And I said, if there is a God, you'll reveal yourself here and now and take this infection out of my body and I'll commit my life to you. I went to sleep, woke up, the infection was completely gone, and then I was like, okay, (laughs) now what? (laughs) The now what came in the form of you moving to Bali, which is an island in Indonesia. What did you do in Bali? Well, while I was in the hospital, I actually received the book Eat, Pray, Love. For those of our listeners who may not be familiar with the book Eat, Pray, Love, it was written by Elizabeth Gilbert and made into a very popular movie starring Julia Roberts. It's a book about self-discovery in which the woman in the book explores her own spirituality in Italy, India, and Bali. I needed to meet this medicine man. It was something that I was drawn to me. I, I did, in fact, find the medicine man. I didn't find it, any, anything profound about that meeting at all, other than the fact that when I got to Bali, I took a deep breath, and I felt the energy of the earth, and I said, this is my new home. And shortly thereafter, I started to disassemble my life in Los Angeles, and I started to move my energy toward Bali. While you were living in Bali, you created an all-natural product line. What else filled your time? I had an all-natural hair care and body care line. Well, in Los Angeles, I was so consumed with the materialistic side of life. I, I, was, I was lost. I, I needed to find myself. So luckily, I had done so very well in Los Angeles that I had saved enough money to semi-retire. And I committed my, my life to self-development, to finding myself, to understanding what I like, what I dislike. I studied with medicine men. I studied with different types of teachers, tantra teachers, plant medicine teachers, all these different ways of understanding what I liked and who I was to in the deepest essence of this next part of my life. As you were following the E, Pray, Love theme, during the nine years you were living abroad, you also split your time living in India. What drew you to India? Ironically, it was after I returned to the United States on a journey of music. I came back and I I was so jet lagged. And I knew that there was a message for me at this cafe. And I went down to this cafe. I was so jet lagged. And 
this woman walked in. She was so bright. And I waited till after the talk, and I spoke to her, and she started telling me about these teachers that she was studying with in India, Sri Yama and Sri Bhagwan at the Oneness University. And I knew at that point this is where I needed to go. So I had, that's, that was my first ticket to India. In India, believe it or not, you had a second near-death experience. Can you share with our listeners that experience? So while I was living in Indonesia, I had an all-natural hair care and body care line. After working for about four years, I discovered that my business partner had scammed me and stole my whole entire company. My life started to really disassemble. So I was sitting in a plant medicine ceremony one night, and I had the vision that I needed to go to Varanasi. For those of our listeners who don't know, Varanasi is a city in northern India. It's considered by many to be the spiritual capital of India. And this is where my where I was going to basically have my spiritual awakening, my big spiritual awakening. While I was there, I went to one of my processes was that I would go to the crematory grounds on the Ganga and sit for days. And this is what I did. And one day, um, it was about the fourth day in, I was walking to the cremation grounds. I saw this man, it literally looked translucent. He was in the Ganga. He was pouring water over his head. And I, and I sat and my, my body was already feeling so weak. He, I sat next to him and I just invoked his energy and I felt the, the, the energy of the Ganga move through me. And all of a sudden, like within days after this, this internal fire started and my temperature was so high. I was so weak and I was in the middle, I started doing a Panchakarma cleanse and while I was do, getting one of my services, I literally came out of my body and the divine spirit came to me and said, you're going to leave your body now. What is your last wish? And my last wish was that I needed to stay because I hadn't yet experienced deep, true, profound love as a human. And just like that, I was back in my body and experiencing the the fever and the pain and everything. That was the big experience for me that you know, really brought me to my knees and had this this bad, this big surrender because it it really taught me the energy of comparison and jealousy and all these lower vibrational energies that I had been living on, which would keep me locked into the Maya, into the illusion of the human mind, then into the suffering. So. Needless to say, I think that, that I, I found what I was looking for. Today I'm speaking with Harmony Pavet from the Harmonic Egg in Naperville, Illinois. Harmony, it seems like you had a very interesting life living abroad. Why did you decide to come back to the United States? Yeah, I, you know, many people ask this question. So I had a beautiful life, really. I had a beautiful life. I was sitting in my home and the windows were open. I, I was the house was really nestled into the jungle. It was it was wonderful. The, the doors opened, so it felt like you were outside, even though you were inside. And I was playing my harmonium, which is an Indian instrument, and I was singing mantra. And the divine spirit came to me and said, it's time for you to go home and serve your people. Pack your bags. You're leaving. And I said, okay, because I've learned to listen. When I haven't listened to the past, I call it the big cosmic banking. And... <laughs> I call that being hit by a spiritual baseball bat. I don't want to, I know, I don't want to experience that again. So anyways, after I got that message, I called my landlord. He bought all my furniture. I packed my stuff, left to come back to the United States as I thought I was going to be in Los Angeles when I landed. And then I had an adverse reaction to the city. And I was already scheduled to come to Chicago to teach spiritual teachings and to sing. And I came, and this is where I met my husband, and now I'm living in Chicago. (laughs) After you returned to the U.S. in 2018, you discovered the harmonic egg. How did you discover the harmonic egg? It was during the lockdown, actually, of the pandemic. My husband and I were watching Gaia. We love Regina Meredith. For those of our listeners who don't know, Regina Meredith is the host of a show called Open Minds on the Gaia Network. My first exposure to the Harmonic Egg was an interview 
Regina Mayer that did on Open Minds with Gail Lynn, the creator of the harmonic egg. We are watching the episode where the invest- inventor of the harmonic egg, Gail Lynn, was on and she was talking about the harmonic egg and my husband and I were like, well, we really need to try this. At that time, the nearest location to us was St. Paul, Minnesota. So we booked a session and we drove to St. Paul, had a session. And on the way home, we were already on the phone with Gail and, you know, talking about contracts and getting everything aligned. And here we are today. Can you explain for our listeners exactly what is a harmonic egg? So the harmonic egg is a bioresonance chamber. It's a very large shaped egg. It's a, outside is a dodectagon, which is a 12-sided shape. On the inside is a hexagon where it's a platform where you sit in the zero gravity chair where you are just so comfortable and reclined. And the but the harmonic egg is actually made out of wood. So it, it's almost as though you're sitting inside of a guitar. The, the resonance and the, the vibrations of the sound really circulate in a 360-degree angle all the way around you. So it's really bathing every single cell inside of your body. It's, it's absolutely one of the most relaxing experiences I've ever had. The harmonic egg uses sacred geometry, light, and sound technologies to restore balance to your mind and body. Can you explain this for our listeners? So the harmonic egg uses, it's a natural approach. It's like a a holistic energy therapy that is designed to help the body heal. It's also restoring the balance of your autonomic nervous system. And so the autonomic nervous system really regulates your bodily functions, such as your heart, digestion, body temperature, reproduction. And it was really created to promote the physical, mental, spiritual healing and wellness experience. Describe what happens during a typical harmonic egg session. Well, a typical harmonic egg session for me is around one and a half hours. So the person coming in, we would have sit down and have an in-depth consultation around what you're working on. And I really base my whole experience around my spiritual teachings that I attained while I was living in uh, Bali and India just because I I have seen my own physical health improve dramatically through transformation. And so I really look deep inside of this consultation with each client on an individual basis. So after the consultation, you're going to go into the harmonic egg. This is going to be customized for you. You're going to be inside the harmonic egg for 50 minutes. There's going to be 40 minutes of light and sound, 10 minutes of light and silence. It's just a wonderful experience the whole way around. This is where you'll have light therapy, you'll have vibration, you'll have sound, you'll have silence. It's just wonderful. For full disclosure, I've had a number of harmonic egg sessions with Harmony in the Harmonic Egg in Naperville, and they've all been amazing experiences. So Harmony, how many harmonic egg sessions does it typically take for someone to see results? Every single person is very different. I've worked with children, one session, they've had amazing results, amazing. It really depends on the amount of trauma, uh, what the person is working through. I like to work in a 12-month program, personally speaking, because this is where we get to really unravel and get to help the autonomic nervous system really regulate itself. But some people like three sessions, some people like 10, so it's really individualized. Can you do a remote harmonic egg session. Absolutely. And a lot of people really love the remote sessions. So what this means is you would book your session just like a regular harmonic egg session, and you would send a photograph, a recent photograph that you would like to use in the session. At the time of the session, I would call you, we'd have a consultation, and then we would establish your intention. The intention is extremely important in both the physical sessions and the remote sessions. And so once the once the um, intention is established, then I would act as your surrogate and I would in- call in, you know, I would speak your name, I'd place your, your picture inside of the harmonic egg, then I would communicate to the egg your intention. Once the intention is, it has been spoken, I'd close the door with your, your picture inside of the egg and run the egg just as you would in a, in a physical setting. For the benefit of our listeners, there are many healing modalities, including Reiki, 
in which practitioners work with and send energy to a client that is at a remote location. Today I'm speaking with Harmony Pavet of the Harmonic Egg in Naperville, Illinois. Harmony, what other healing modalities are you personally involved with? I do spiritual life coaching alongside, I do, I work with mantras, I do sound healing. You're a musician and a singer and have been on a couple of world tours. What kind of music do you sing and where can our listeners find your music? I sing mantra. So while I was living in India, I discovered the beautiful language of Sanskrit and I had such profound experiences. The first time I actually sang mantras, I was fresh out of Los Angeles and I had never even heard of the word mantra. And then I sat down and I started to sing. I knew every single word and it was, I had to kind of flash back to another life. So it became a huge part of my life. I, I learned how to navigate inside of the mantras and it just really transports me. And when I sing live, I really feel it transports the whole room into a whole other dimension of their their spiritual experience on this planet. Combine my music, Bandcamp, Amazon, Apple Music. I'm on SoundCloud. I'm pretty much all the major streaming sites. How do people find your music? Do they look you up by your last name? So the, the listeners can find me the music through Harmony Polo. So that was the name that I was going by with my music, but now that I'm married, I'm Pavette, so it's Polo, so you can find me Pavette or Polo. Do you offer any in-person or online classes or events? Yes, through the center, I offer, right now, gong meditations once a month. I'm also offering different types of talks and classes online. There's a human design uh, class coming up with one of the practitioners through the center. And then I'll be offering different things as we evolve through the year as well. Harmony, what gets you out of bed in the morning? The, the joy of experiencing another day. It, this is a really magnificent reality and a diff- it's a magnificent life. And I, I want to experience every moment in its fullness. What is one thing you do on a daily basis that creates a positive impact in the world? I do my practice. I continually do my practice. I'm a really big believer with kundalini yoga, so I do that. I do hatha yoga. I also stay in tune with my music, so you should see my living room. There's a big music studio set up in there. And it just, I really, the way I can create the best positive impact on the planet is by keeping my vibration high. Eat healthy, breathe deep, enjoy. How can people find you and contact you? What is your website and your social media identifiers? My website is harmonicegg-naperville.com. And then I'm on Instagram, Harmonic Egg Naperville, and Facebook, Harmonic Egg Naperville. Is there anything else you would like to add for our listeners to know about you or the Harmonic Egg Naperville? The Harmonic Egg is, is such a unique experience. It really For every single person, every time I open that door at the end of the session, I'm so excited to hear about what people experience because since we've opened two and a half years or two years ago now, I've seen a lot of people. I've been really, really slammed since almost day one with every single day is booked. And never has one person had the same experience as another person and never has one person had the same experience twice. It's so wonderful. It's so unique. And I I get so much joy out of seeing people heal and transform and step into their power and realize the truth of who they are and start using empowering words and start standing up for themselves. And I remember years ago, I was studying with a woman, Dr. Martin, and she she said, you know, an awakened woman can never be controlled, manipulated in her life again. And so my goal is to really help all beings, all beings step into their power with fullness so nothing can manipulate them, nothing can tell them what to do. And it's just really coming to this space of trusting that deep internal intuition. And that's my passion is helping everyone everyone awaken that intuition within themselves because everyone has that. Everyone owns that. Today, I had the pleasure to be speaking with Harmony Pavet of the Harmonic Egg in Naperville, Illinois. It was a pleasure to speak with you today, Harmony. Thanks for being on the show. No, oh, you're welcome. Thanks for having me on. Till next time, I'm Dr. Stephen Leswich, out there on the edge of everything, sitting inside a Harmonic Egg.
You have been listening to Out There on the Edge of Everything, the show that examines, helps you understand and effectively deal with the interesting edges of life. For more information on your host, Dr. Stephen Lesovich, please visit slesovich.com. For more information on prior and future shows, please visit coconutavenueradio.net. This is the Coconut Avenue Radio and Podcast Network.